All right, good afternoon, folks. Today we're going to be looking at 778 Stonehaven Trail, Jamestown, Tennessee, over here in the Ridgetop Equestrian Community. The home is roughly 1,500 square feet, three bedroom, two bath, two car garage, has a screened in back deck, porch area, also is a two stall barn, a 12 by 12 in dimensions, and also a tack room and a place to store your hay as well. Now there's many gates going in and out of the property and what we're going to do, we're going to take a look at everything. We're going to tour the property then we're going to go inside and check everything out. Now this right here is for the drainage which is directed all the way down the side of the property and going all the way down. So let's just head on down to the paddock number one. It's a nice chilly day. I'm just happy it's not uh, it's not raining or snowing or any of the above really. Alrighty. Now in the back of the property, there's a lot of nice rock features with some waterfalls uh, on the back side. And we'll go over and take a look. And there's also a trail that goes all the way down on the outskirts of the property where you can take your horse or make, take a nice little, uh, nice little hike. Um, really, it's a really nice, really nice area. Now, the beginning of the trail or horse trail, now this horse trail is, is privately owned. Um, it goes all the way around the property, just want to clarify that. Now right up here is actually the beginning of the trail and it goes all the way down through here along the creek and upside the property itself. So instead of walking all the way up here, I'm going to cut through the fence. I'll be right back. All right, now going all the way through here is is the trail. They've done a real real nice job keeping it all clean and easy to walk. Now the property is marked with some little orange ribbons. Um, I don't think you can see them through the camera, but uh, but they are definitely the, definitely there. Now from this point here, um, right up here you can see the house and the barn and right here is the, the little, little paddock. Now this, uh, this trail is about roughly about a mile and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the camera off and I'm going to walk on down closer to where the, uh, the rock formations are at. Alrighty, we're getting a little bit closer to the rock formations and and whatnot, and we're gonna walk down to where where the small little waterfall is. Now when it rains, this little waterfall here is, I mean, it's a really gushing. It's a really good one.
it's not the Niagara, but it's a it's a beautiful aspect of the property. And I can't I can't even touch that. It's pretty high. Some neat little cracks going through the the rock itself. Alrighty, onward. Keep on following the trail. Now this trail here goes, it goes right beside some more rock formations and even a small little rock house. And it cuts back and goes all the way down the side of the creek and straight back up towards the road. Now, I won't cut the camera off because there's couple different things that I want everybody to see. It's a nice rock wall going up through there. Do some amateur repelling. <laughs> All right, we're almost to the little Indian rock house. It's not very deep, but it's still a nice little, a nice little piece to the property, as somebody can enjoy. It. Now it doesn't go in too deep here. There's been some raccoons up here hanging out. No telling what else. Once upon a time there's probably some arrowhead digging going on here. That's just how it is. Oh, horsey. Now this little rock wall goes all the way down to the end of the property line and starts back up on the 
on the other property owner's land. Now when it rains hard, this also fills up. So you can come down here after rain and enjoy a nice little creek going on the outskirts of your property. Now the edge of the property line here, now there's a little pink ribbon. Right there on that tree. Which it goes all the way down and cuts back up on the where the creek starts back up. Now a person can clear these little trees out and put you another pasture out here if you choose to do so. <clears throat> but it makes a nice little hiking, hiking trail out in the woods. If I do say so myself, I apologize. The sun is probably probably in your eyes, and of course you can see right through here where the where the wa water just kind of takes a hold of everything. caused by the water comes from out that that way where the where the small little creek forms I hope the camera isn't shaking too much I'm I'm just kind of walking trying to keep it as steady as I can and I hope this video is informative for everyone as well Something else everybody should know about the about Ridgetop Equestrian Community that it has its own private trails that that people can people can enjoy to use. And it also connects up with the Big South Fork and has trails that lead directly into the national park. Alright, let's walk down here. So I can kind of show you part of the property line. You can see the water there. And right there is a a pole, a ribbon. Just kind of mark where the property line is. It goes all the way down there, just the side of it. I'm going to turn the camera off until I get back up to the to the top of the hill on the other side of the trail and we'll skip right over to the the larger paddock of the property all right I just got out of the woods from that nice little roughly about a mile trail or so from from right here just past this pole all the way up to past the driveway and which we'll walk that here in a minute is the road front of the property itself now right next to the property is one of the private trails for Ridgetop Ridgetop community equestrian community sorry about that 
I'm out of shape, I think, from walking that trail. All right. Now, what we're going to do next, we're going to go through to the largest paddock for the property and let you all take a look at that so you can get a better idea on how much space you got for your horses to roam. Now I'm going to cut off the camera until I get up here to the gate. I'll be right back. Alright, here we are again. Now here's the the main gate for this side of the property. So it's just easier to access this portion of the of the field. Alrighty. Now I really like this little area right here. This can be used for so many different things. And one thing is doing a little bit of night photography because it's such a wide open area. I'm not sure exactly how dark it is, but I'm sure it gets pretty dark being out here in the country and away from big cities. Of course, the nearest city around here is Jamestown, which is about 12 minutes away for your uh, shopping needs, food, restaurants, uh, just convenient stuff. That's a very central located uh, uh, community. Now, as you can see, just taking a little 360 here, so you all can just take a look on how much room your animals can have. we was down there hiking and came up all the way up this little hill and back to the road all right now let's walk down to the other side of the property so I can show you roughly where that property lines at and also another community horse trail for Ridgetop that you can see where it's located at Go ahead and walk up. All right, on we go. Now, just so you know, this whole area is fenced. All the way up to the house and it connects on over to the field so your horses can roam and be right there next to you just going to give you a little view while we're walking of the house and the barn in the background really nice Really nice area for for anyone, anyone at all. All right, we just about made it. Now all these access points to the to the horse horse trails are all marked and they give directions on where to go just like this one this points straight over here and this is an easement that goes through Spruce Creek excuse me Ridgetop 
and people can enjoy the enjoy the whole community enjoy the riding making really nice friends it's a great little area all right so next we're going to head on down to the barn then move on to the house i'll be right back one other thing the property line for this property is roughly straight down this way from the road of course right there is the house and the barn beside it all right here we are back at the back at the house and barn we're gonna go check check everything out and so you can see on how everything looks we'll go over here and start on the back side and right here when I was saying before right here is the start of the trail and you can just bring your horses out come straight through here and enjoy a nice little private stroll now right behind here is some extra storage space that you can use storing more hay um, just really whatever you need it for storing your tractor any kind of machinery that you use for your outdoors now right in here is a little indoor space to store your to store your hay at and power is ran all the way through here so you don't have to worry about being without this makes things a little bit easier Here's a, another door. I'll have to go around the other side. I forgot it latches on both sides. There's rubber mats all, all outside here. And including the, the horse stalls, in which we'll get to those right here in a second. Hay room slash tack room. You can store your feed right here. Some extra storage space. And plus you got plugs scattered throughout the barn itself. I apologize, it's a little it's a little dark. And of course you got a power panel here. It's actually a well bit built barn all right let's go on to the horse stall I need to make sure I close everything up real quick bear with me ceiling fans installed in both stalls rubber mats in which your horses can lead off to the west side of the property or then go out the east and head down the little the little trail that goes around the property itself ceiling fans in here as well got an access door so so the horses don't get lonely from each other
Now right through here, I can't remember if I told you or not, but right here is a little little running area for your horses. A little pasture area where they can gnaw on some grass. Just really whatever you need. Alright now. We're gonna head on into the house. Be right back. Alright now. Now all the gutters are all hooked up some, to some field line so they're being redirected away from the actual house so there ain't no water build up got a nice little sidewalk leading all the way up to the porch the owner's done a really nice job keeping all the knee leaves cleared out away from the house in general And as you can see, there's fence wire hooked up all the way around to the front yard and connects to the largest paddock that we just got through looking at a few minutes ago. It's a very beautiful house. And you can see the field line coming out to the uh, away from the house. Now, this right here, I was thinking that this was part of the septic tank, but it's actually an underground propane tank. So the owner doesn't have to look at it, and neither will you. It's uh, American Standard Heating and Air Conditioning Unit coming around to the the backyard really nice little area now as you can see the owner has put some uh, poultry poultry fencing so uh, no critters getting there and mess anything up and out here you can just enjoy the view Watch your horses run and play. And on the back porch here, it's all, it's all screened in with high quality uh, screen as well. You don't have to worry about any bugs during the summertime bothering you while you're, while you're enjoying the evening. Now coming around the back side here, it's all graveled in, makes it easier for water to rush away from the house and you don't have to worry about any weeds or grass taking over. And of course on this back side it leads right up into the screened in porch. Alright, let's head on inside take a look. Alrighty. Starting inside the house, we're going to start here in the garage area. Now this garage is roughly about 24 by 22 foot. Um, of course right there is the electrical panel. Of course everything's on a breaker system. Um, right here you've got like a little nice little storage area uh, where you can put just about whatever. You've got a light switch that controls this light over here so you can see what you're looking for. And plus you can get some natural light. If you see somebody coming, you can also just take a look and see who's coming in the front door. Uh, two, gar, two, two car garage access. You have a, uh, an entrance and an exit here. And also one for the little doggy. He or she can go in here and walk right into the laundry room. If that's what you choose to do so let me go turn off the lights here then we'll we'll move on into the house
Now from the garage, we walk into the hallway and we got two bedrooms on this side, plus you got a bathroom and of course you got the laundry room on the left side and we will get to those just in a sec. Now from his first bedroom, you can look outside and check out the stalls. You can even see who's, who's outside here, which that's my vehicle over there. And on this back side, you can actually see the, the smaller paddock and the backyard as well. And this first bedroom here is roughly 11 foot by 12. In which you got a, got a nice little closet area, some nice folding doors. Now right here's bedroom number two. Let me just flip on the light here. Now this bedroom here is roughly about 11 by 10 with a single folding closet door. Let's move on over to the laundry area. Turn on the lights here. Got a place to put your coats. Laundry area with a sink as well, which comes in pretty handy. Plenty of storage for linens or detergents, whatever you want to put there dog bowl and right there is the uh, the entrance for the um, for the dog or the cat now right across the hallway we're gonna walk into the bathroom We've got the, got our throne here got a shower I hope this isn't too dim I may have to increase the my lighting here. I apologize about that. Right, here's the screen in porch. Got a nice little faucet here. I'm gonna kind of go back through the other room so there. Now that I've got the ISO turned up, everything's just a little bit brighter. So you can actually see what everything really looks like. Yeah, it looks much better. Let me turn on the hallway light here. Ah, here we go. That way you can see. Nice fixtures and can lots throughout the house. Kind of give you a visual here. Got some real pretty floors in this home as well. Now that we've seen this side of the house, let's move on into the center, which is actually the living room, kitchen, and dining area. And I'll be right back. All right, folks, uh, at this point, we move into the center of the house, and right here is the entrance to the home itself, which leads out to the, uh, to the front porch. Coming right out through here, it faces the, the back of the house and that moves out into the screened-in porch area where you can enjoy your, your mornings or evenings. Of 
course right here is your propane fireplace with some nice stone decorative here's the owner's beautiful looking dog hey buddy what's going on now this living room is roughly about 24 by 15 foot decently large little area and coming right through this area leads into the kitchen area nice stainless steel appliances nice little dining area with plenty of natural light coming in and this home is full of windows and full of natural light which I is one thing I love about it and out here you can just kind of check everything out now from the center of the house we're going to work our way into the master area and right here is the master bedroom uh, which has natural light coming coming in from two sides three counting the bathroom of course as you can see right here is where the sun is sitting setting excuse me and from this side of the house you can check out the actual um, larger paddock of the property and now let's move on into here in the master bath area now this is a larger master bath um, with some nice little vanity here thrown and also your jet power tub you can actually enjoy the evenings while while sitting in the tub <laughs> and right here is a walk-in shower with glass a glass door got plenty of storage space Now, one place we haven't been to yet was the actual out here on the porch. So we can check it out real quick. Now the back, the back deck porch, screened in porch area, nice little area. Everything is well built. Got a nice little storm door here. nice little area to enjoy everything it's very quiet and peaceful um, everybody's just so super nice out here it's just all good a nice little round area um, Okay, everyone I hope you all enjoyed the video of the tour of this property down here in Ridgetop Equestrian Community in Jamestown Tennessee if you have any questions please feel free to reach out to Joe Houston or Christopher Todd Stevens with Mitchell real estate located in Jamestown Tennessee I will have all our contact information at the end of the video so please, if you want to request some more information or a tour of the property, feel free to reach out. 
and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.